Well, today on Nation, the Window Cleaners podcast, we're talking about the five best things I've ever done for my company. So if you own a window cleaning business, if you're thinking about a window cleaning business or any other service business, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's going on, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? Thanks for hanging out. If it's your first time, have a look around. Hopefully you dig it. Uh, it's better than a cat video, maybe. Uh, but if you are one of the OGs, if you're one of the cool kids, one of the nation, I just want to say thank you for some name brand straws. as the last one. I didn't even know there was name brand straws. But uh, no, thank you. If you guys watch every episode, if you listen to every episode, thumbs up on the video there on YouTube. And most importantly, get your supplies through me, shameless plug, it is because of you that I exist on this planet and that I can pay my mortgage. So thank you, thank you, thank you uh, very much. If you want to order your supplies through me, the number is 862-312-2026. Here it is one more time. Write it down, 862-312-2026. It's a sell. So call me, text me. It doesn't cost you anything extra. It's like a virtual high five of awesomeness to say, it's a hugest thank you you could. If you ever got anything out of the content, put an order in with me. Uh, I would love it so, so very much. And I have some shout outs today. I want to say what is up to Andre Holmes. What's going on, man? He's a local uh, dude, by the way. Uh, Adam Totharo, what's going on? Taylor Rinsa, the man himself. Ronnie Lopez. Bo and Jemmy, uh, which I probably butchered your name. Sorry, Bo. And uh, Michael Pasquale. What's up to all of you? I haven't done shout outs in so long. I'm sorry. Uh, if you ever want a shout out, uh, I do that from just picking some people that uh, uh, order through me and I give shout outs. So you get your name on the. It doesn't mean anything, but I do it. So there you go. But anyway, we're talking today about the five best things I've ever done for my company. Um, and I have some honorable mentions to start with, but I have to say, and he doesn't watch, but T Squeegee. And those guys make fun of me because I use my hands all the time on the camera. So now I'm like, for some reason, super conscious of hiding my hands. <sighs> People get in your head. Anyway, uh, we're talking about things that I've done for my company personally. My own window cleaning company that were the best things that I've ever done. They gave me the best bang for the buck. They helped me progress the most. They are just the best things I could have possibly done. And I'm happy that I did them. No regrets. No regrets. Um, and uh, I have a couple of honorable mentions that I want to bring up first off. These are things that would have been on the list, but I could only pick five because I decided to name it the five best things I've ever done for my company. <laughs> Maybe I should have named it 20, but there's so many things that I was like, oh man, that was good. And as I was like thinking the episode, I'm like, man, that was smart. I like that. That was that really that really helped. Oh, that was really good. I'm gonna do the five worst things I ever did for my company, probably next week. But um, some honorable mentions for that is uh, first off, I bought a shop. Now it's not on the list, of course, because not everybody is at that position. But buying a location, we had uh, just 3,500 square feet, uh, but we had overhead doors and uh, one, two, three offices, a break room, second floor, bathrooms. It just was awesome. High ceilings. It, it was really, really amazing. It uh, helped kind of progress being able to have trucks inside. We washed everything. Everything looked nice all the time. Storing equipment, doing screens, uh, hiring people. I got I had office staff because we had a location. If you're at that point in your business, it's super expensive. It's so much more expensive than you think it's going to be, but it was super good. That's the first one on the honorable mention. Uh, another one's plastic gift cards, which we've talked about a hundred times, and that's why I didn't want to talk about it again. But if you haven't, plastic gift cards are so awesome. They are used basically as a coupon. I put $25 off, make it look like a gift card, and I give them to everybody. It's like our business card. Uh, they're huge. They do so stinking well and get people brought in and people save them. That's the most important thing. And they're reusable. It's nice. Um, another one that I wanted to say is probably at the very top, but because it's salesy and I'm not trying to be salesy today, is Waterfed. Waterfed changed my business. I would never be a window cleaner without it now. Not at all. 
I would not. It's just easier, it's smarter, it's safer, it's faster, it's all the fun things you've heard. It literally is an amazing, amazing technology. If you're a Waterfed hater, I'm sorry you're wrong, but uh, Waterfed was there. And then just to tell you guys how old I am and how old my company is, I guess, is uh, GPS. We, when we first started, we ran uh, MapQuest, right? I think it was MapQuest or Bing or one of those, you know, map programs. And we would literally look at the day and we would do directions from the first, from our, our house at the time to the first job. And then we would do directions from the first job to the second job and the second job to the third. And we would print them all out. So when we were driving, we knew where to go. And one day I spent a lot of money on a GPS and it was absolute amazing. It was a game, <laughs> it was a game changer. That's how old of a company we were. No GPS when we first started. Now it's in everything, but it wasn't at the time. So <sighs> there you go. Those are the honorable mentions for things that I've done. Uh, by the way, if you're watching on YouTube, comment down below what the five best things are that you've ever done for your company. Or give me the number one thing. I don't care. I just want to know. Even if they're the same as mine, I want to know what the best things you've ever done for your company are. But uh, number five in the list of top five things, uh, best things I've ever done for my company would be the floater board. We've talked about this a little bit before also, but let me kind of go into it a little bit. So a floater board always sits behind me at my desk. It's a big whiteboard, and on that whiteboard are all the jobs that we don't need somebody to be there for. Uh, gutter cleaning jobs, exterior only on casement crank out houses, um, uh, concrete work, uh, anything like that where I can go and do that if somebody's home or they're not. When we're booking jobs, if it's one of those jobs, I say, hey, we're going to put you on what's called our floater board. And our floater board is a list of jobs that can be done with nobody home, but you'll know we're there because we leave an invoice, an envelope with all the goodies on it right at your door and the service will be completed. Now, this just allows us to get to you as soon as we have an available spot, blah, 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 blah. Um, people love the floater board, but more importantly, I love the floater board because if your day ends early, which we've all had those, right? Where your day ends a little bit early, um, maybe um, you got done with a job or somebody took something off or maybe it's just a really nice day or maybe you're just really cruising really fast that day, whatever. The floater board then helps you to uh, fill those spots. And it's always stuff. I always get my crews that if they're done earlier, they get done before uh, 4 o'clock or at that time. Uh, they call me. Um, depending, sometimes if it's really nice, they want to work longer too. That's cool. But um, they'll call me and be like, hey, we need a floater. And I'll look at the board and go, okay, we got one, two, three. Fake Street has a gutter job. All right, great, we'll do it. So they can go to that. Um, if they stop back at the shop, they pick up the envelope and drop that off. Otherwise we do emails, um, email the invoice and things, letting them know when we get to the job, we still knock say, Hey, we're here. Uh, we had an available spot. We're going to go ahead and get everything taken care of. Let people know there. Uh, and they really do fill some spots and the floater board is so simple that it has allowed us to fill the pockets, fill the pockets that we weren't being able to do before. Now, before the floater board, We'd have even times in the middle of the day where, say, a job, uh, the people weren't home or they just forgot about the appointment and somehow weren't there or whatever. And all of a sudden, they got two hours in the middle of a day before the next job. We would try to push the next job up, but sometimes that doesn't happen. So now, with a floater board, we can just fill those little spots. It's super nice. Super nice. Now, in the wintertime, when it gets dark sooner, we're not out there, you know, obviously cleaning gutters in the winter. But in the summer, when the sun stays up till 9 o'clock at night, if they want to work an extra hour, perfect. We can get all this stuff done. We can pack it on. If somebody says, I, hey, I want some weekend work, I got a whole floater board. Floater board's getting packed up, and we're getting more floater than we are being able to schedule. Throw somebody on a weekend and say, hey, we'll give you an option. If you want to work this weekend to rock these jobs out, I'll pay you time and a half or whatever your policy is. It's really, really beneficial as a floater board. And it's so easy. It's just a whiteboard. Make some lines, put the categories, and that's it. Super easy. So think about putting a floater board. Uh, the other thing with a floater board, which was kind of paired in there, which isn't the same, is the seven-day rain guarantee. I'm not going to jump on that one too much, but the seven day ring guarantee is not something that people misuse all that often. What it actually is, is to save your scheduling. So just like floater board, 
saving your schedule in the pockets. The seven-day rain guarantee basically protects um, people's uncertainty. They call and go, hey, uh, this is Mrs. Smith. We had an appointment today, but I think it's supposed to rain today. Oh, don't worry, Mrs. Smith. We have a seven-day rain guarantee. You don't have to worry about any of that. We'll go ahead and still clean your windows, but if anything gets dirty from the rain uh, and the rain happens within those seven days, we'll come back. Just call us. We'll come back. Make it look beautiful. It's it's not something that anybody ever does because rain does not dirty windows. We all know that. But, um, but it does help people not reschedule on you. It helps your schedule stay full. I hate wasting time. I hate a day and when it is actually raining, it's just downpouring and it's like you got to reschedule the day and then you're packing people on the end. Say you're three, four weeks out. Now you have to try to find pockets for these people. It's just a nightmare. It's a nightmare. And people ask me this. By the way, I do not clean in heavy rain. Like if it's really raining, I'm not going to go clean because it's more annoying to clean a window and then try to figure out where you left a drip. Uh, If you're water feeding, that's a different story, but it's still miserable to clean the rain. So I'm not that hardcore, man. Just not. If you are, comment down below. By the way, I say that all the time. If you're watching on YouTube or even if you're listening right now, go to YouTube at some point and just comment on the video. It really is awesome to see comments. I get to talk back and forth with you guys and girls. It's just, it's really cool. It is the second coolest to actually ordering through me. So go and comment on that. But um, number four on the list, five best things I've ever done for my company is going to be adding pressure washing as a window cleaner or window cleaning if you're a pressure washer. Now, we're not jack of all trades, master of none. What's going on is that I will do services that are in my wheelhouse or things that pair very well. So the core services are gonna be, for me, window cleaning, pressure washing. With pressure washing comes roof cleaning, uh, concrete, that type of thing, of course. Um, And then because we have ladders already for window cleaning, we do gutters. And because we're cleaning windows, we'll fix the screen here and there, but I don't really like to advertise those. Um, but those are just the core. That's it. I don't go crazy. I'm not um, out there, you know, painting houses also or anything like that. But when I added pressure washing on as a window cleaner, it opened up a whole new door. Let me explain. The simple side of it is, of course, you're going to be able to add more services. Somebody wants pressure washing. Now you can do that service. But here's the real truth of it. The real truth is if I don't do pressure washing, but ABC, uh, you know, window cleaning does, what happens is if I don't do pressure washing, I'm going to call somebody, we're going to, hey, we'd like to schedule windows. Great. I need my house washed too. Oh, sorry, we don't do that. Okay, well, let me schedule that first and then we'll call you to schedule the windows. They call the other place and go, oh, we're looking to do the pressure washing because we have a window set up. Oh, we actually do both. Oh, well, I'm guess I wouldn't mind a quote for, guess what? You just lost your window job because you didn't do pressure washing. It happens all the time. So being able to do both of them allows you to schedule everything together. It allows you to not lose jobs to somebody who does do them both. And another one, and most importantly, is you can upsell each service. So if somebody calls you because they see XYZ, does pressure wash and they call you for pressure wash hey, i need my house washed great um here's the other services uh, we also do windows did you want us to clean those windows as soon as we're done pressure washing uh yeah actually yeah yeah that's a good right it's the would you like fries with that if you are able to upsell windows you already know that somebody wants it because you're cleaning the house you know they like to have their things clean and maintained if they don't want to have their windows cleaned then they're potentially going to have a clean house and dirty windows. Same thing is is when you do the windows and you can say, oh, before we do the windows, did you want to sign up for a house wash? I would clean all the dirt from the soffits, the fascia, the siding, everything like that, treat all the algae, and then we go back and do the windows after? Oh, wow. Yeah, yeah, I have the whole thing done. Yeah. See? You can sell somebody on another service if you get them in for one. So there's always a cross-reference. And by the way, if you're not upselling, you're failing your business. You're, you're, you're shooting yourself in the foot and hindering yourself because upsales is where you get all of the services that you sell 
you basically make more money in doing everything that you possibly can and you don't have to drive job to job to job to job. You want to do everything that that person needs. Here's another thing with that. I did a survey, which by the way, if you don't do surveys for your company, they're hugely eye-opening. So try to do some surveys. They're super you know, free to do and they get a lot of information. But I did a survey one time and I said, uh, in this list, I, I put all the services that we did. Check which services you knew we did. And I'm telling you the average out of, I think it was 10. And I think we did services like inside window cleaning, exterior window cleaning, um, pressure washing. We did uh, roof cleaning, concrete cleaning. Uh, we did garage floor cleaning, snow removal. Like I put all these things. And I think we got to 10 services. I broke it up. So pressure washing was probably five of them, right? Our average out of 10 that people knew was three. That was our average of every survey we got back. Three. Which means the job I thought I was doing by putting things in envelopes and telling people and always giving them every month we sent out a new uh, postcard. And the postcard was different service every month. Um, with uh, emails, we did our email blasts uh, every uh, month or a couple weeks. I forget uh, really how often that was. It was a different service. I thought I was telling everybody. Nobody knew the services. They just overlooked it. So letting people know the other services that you do are huge. That's upsells. So think about adding the other one. If you need gear or questions or anything, definitely let me know. Um, but the number three thing and the list of top five best things I've ever done for my company. And this really could be number one. It could be. But it's the call list. And our call list is this. So every customer you have, of course, you're sending them emails, I hope. You're collecting their emails and asking if you can send them stuff. Uh, I hope you're doing postcards and mailers and things like that too. But our call list is the number one way that we boost our um, our schedule. In the spring, pre-spring and pre-fall, we do a call for all of our uh, customers, clients, whatever you call them. Basically, I call and say, hey, this is Jersey from XYZ Window Cleaning. I'm just calling to put you on the schedule. We're putting together our spring schedule and didn't see you on there. And I thought I'd call to see what day works best for you. A, I didn't ask yes or no. I'm just asking to put them on. The same thing happens with them. Like, oh my gosh, thanks for calling. I was just going to call you. Or, oh, thanks for calling. I would have completely forgot. Or, oh yeah, definitely. When was the last time? Are we spring, fall? What do we... It helps every, I think out of doing that for 10 years, I bet you I've had maybe three people who are like, what? No, I don't want that. And it's usually old people who forget who we are or whatever. And I've had people who are like, who are you? How'd you get my number? And I'm, I'm sorry. We did service for you on April 4th last year. We did the window cleaning, remember? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks for calling. People like to be reminded. Because they did it once, they know that they, you know that they like it, you know your quality is good, you know that there are customers that want that, calling them and just reminding them, hey, I'd love to put you on the schedule again and I didn't see you on there. People love that. It's so nice for them and I'm telling you, you do your call list, you will fill up weeks and weeks of work in a few days, all from the call list. The other thing is you're not waiting for them to call you. Maybe they forget about calling you in spring. If they forget about calling you in spring, then all of a sudden it becomes summer and they're like, oh, I'll just call in fall. You miss the whole cleaning. You could have had an extra cleaning that year. It helps so much and people are so happy that you call them. So do that. That is a very, very big one. Call us. I'm telling you, it could have been number one. That for us is the biggest boost of, of, of immediate job bookings that we do every year. And the first time I do a call list, um, how I know when it's time to do a call list. If you do it too soon, you just kind of ruin the uh, opportunity, right? But what I do is I wait until the light switch hits. So as you're going from, you know, one call a day to four calls a day to three calls a day and all of a sudden 23 calls a day. When that light switch hits, you have nice weather scheduled for at least that week. That's when I call. Call us is today. We're doing call us. And that's all day. Everybody in uh, the office is calling. Hey, blah, blah, blah. Here we are. Let's get you on the schedule. And then after everybody books. Okay, great. So we have you on uh, the Tuesday the 3rd at 9 o'clock in the morning. Uh, just uh, another question. We also do pressure washing. We do gutter cleaning. I'd love to get you on the same time for those services. And if you pair the services with this, that'll save you another 10% off of everything. 
That is upselling. You now are adding, maybe on those ones, they've had things booked, you're adding on maybe 50%, 55, even 60% of the jobs that you booked, you're adding more services on. You're increasing those tickets. It's huge. Adding, upselling, now you have them on the phone, the schedule's booked. It's an amazing thing. If you never call them, they're not going to call you to necessarily upschedule them or uh, upsell themselves on other services that they need. So it's hugely beneficial. Do that call list. You're not bothering people. I promise you. Uh, number two in the list of the best things that I've done for my business is a big one, and this is this is the biggest thing in my opinion that. Uh, you can do if your business is already established. And that is get a website and SEO guy. Having a website that looks like a real website is the most valuable thing that you'll ever do for your company. It is the most ROI you'll ever get. More than even a vehicle wrap is a website. Is because that website, you put responsibid on that website, you can sell all day long, all night. I've sold jobs in the middle of the night. Which, by the way, we have that code for Responsibid still for the show if you watch. Um, I'll remember to post it down below in the comments here on YouTube. But uh, just text me, call me, whatever, and I'll get you that code. It is a discount code for Responsibid. Responsibid just basically allows you to sell on the site. So basically, they can go in, type in all the type of windows they want, and it will give them a price. Take all their information, send you the information, send follow-up emails, and you can book appointments right then and there. It's amazing. Anyway, shameless plug on that side. But a website itself is how people today will find your company and see what you're all about. I am telling you right now, if I go in and search something, I'm going to go to Google and just search. If you're not on there, I'll never know you exist because that's the only way I look. If I do see you on there and there's no website, I'm going to the next one. I promise. Every single time I'm going to the next one. Because if there's no website, you don't care. Like if the website, if I go on the website and it's garbage, like there's a couple places where you go on and you're like, what is this mess? It's all in co- Comic Sans and ugh, that's just as bad. I will not go there. If you can't care about your web, like a website is how I look at you. A website is your catalog. A website is basically a uh, commercial for you. I want to see pictures. I want everything to flow on the site. I want it to look professional. I want there to be a place where I can get a quote. I want to be testimonials. I want pictures. I want services. I want everything even to see you know, what type of people you are on an About Us page. I want to be able to look as much as possible because I'll get a feeling from that and a feeling if I even want to buy from you. Very, very valuable. So having a website is huge, but then if you have a website and nobody can find it, why well, have a website? So that's where SEO comes into play. Now, let me press, preface this. If you haven't taken any notes this entire um, show, here's something to remember. His name is Justin Monk, M-O-N-K. Uh, he's on Facebook. Just search Justin Monk in any of the pro window cleaning Facebook groups or anything like that. But Justin Monk is an SEO and website guy, and he is phenomenal. Now, I am not, you know, affiliated with him at all. Like, you know, he's just a guy that I knew forever. Uh, and then all of a sudden started doing uh, websites. So, I, oh, well, I knew the guy. So I'll let him. What he did with my website when I was in Wisconsin, um, or I should say when I moved from Wisconsin, was absolutely amazing. Now, Chris Cartwright originally, uh, this is, I guess, history you don't need to know. He started uh, part of the company and then Monk bought his part too and they merged up and I've done stuff through Chris too. Absolutely amazing. The stuff that they did, not only are their websites, just awesome, sexy websites that look great. The SEO work, the part that really, really matters. SEO basically is like, okay, you pay more money to have a billboard on a busy road than you would if you had one in the woods. Nobody's going to see it in the woods. That's the same thing. I could have the greatest pamphlet ever right now on my company. Full gloss, beautiful pamphlet. If I don't give it to anybody, it doesn't matter how nice it is. Nobody's going to see it. That's a website. That's an SEO, right? SEO itself, what he does is absolutely amazing. I'm telling you, um, go to him. Say that you, you know, heard Jersey talking about how awesome he is. Tell him I'm, I'm completely cool with that. I love when you tell him that because he literally, literally is 
awesome at what they do. They Their company just does what they're supposed to. The pricing is right and their SEO work is absolutely phenomenal. You will rank well with them. I guarantee it. It's just everybody that's gone through them has been nothing but happy. So Justin Monk, M-O-N-K. If you have a website and no SEO, you, you've, you've wasted money on a website, you're losing that ROI. If you have a crappy website but great ROI, you're still losing all those people. You're getting in front of all those people and none of those people want to look at your website because it's horrible. So they really, really do go hand in hand. So if you got one, get the other. If you got the other, get the other. I'm just, anyway, you know what I'm saying, okay? Do it. Uh, website, SEO, huge. Best ROI you're going to have. Uh, and the last one, the number one thing that I did, best thing I ever did for my company is started. Now, I know a lot of you guys are like, ah, oh, like I'm in business. Yes, but think about it. The best thing, if you're new in business or you're part-time or you are looking to have employees but you don't know when the right time is or you're looking to do this and you don't, however you are and where you want to be, the best thing that you can do for that is to start. If you don't have a window cleaning business but you're researching, that's awesome. Do all the research you can. But start. You have to start. If you want employees... Say so you work by yourself right now, which nothing wrong with that either. If you're a sole owner operator, obviously what you're doing works amazingly well for you. Keep doing what you're doing. But anything that you're coming up to in your life that you're thinking about and thinking about and thinking about and thinking of, start. All you can do is start. You will never have your plan be 100% written out and followed. Anything in business is not... You riding a bicycle on asphalt. What it is, is you riding a bicycle on a beach. Yeah, you know where you want to go, but how you get there, the sand kind of takes you where you go. The sand dictates kind of how you get there, but you can still see where you want to go. That's a plan. That's entrepreneurism. Entrepreneurism. That big long word that I'm too dumb to know. That's, That's owning your own business. It is owning your own business. Getting to where you need to go, you can see where it goes, but if you don't um, start going that way, you're not going to find out what path you take. Just start. I'm telling you right now, it's scary, especially if you're new to business. Say something big's happening this year. All of you, if you're listening right now, what big thing is going to happen this year? Something big's going to happen this year. If you're floating, that's cool too. Do your thing. But what if you want to be stronger? What if you want to work less? What if you want to make more per hour? What big thing are you going to do? Whatever that is, you have to start it now. It does not benefit you to start it in a month from now, two months from now. You're not going to do more research and be even more well-versed to start it in three months. Well, you know what? Fall's a better time. I'm going to start it in fall because I... No. Start it today. Uh, Yeah, but COVID is that, but start it today. Yeah, but... You know, the pollen hasn't fallen here yet, and it's been really cloudy. It's supposed to be co- start it today. I'm telling you. Anything big that's happening, start it today. You'll be absolutely blown away by the results. So those are the top five things that I've ever done for my business. I hope some of them resonated with you. But I want to know, if you're following this on YouTube and you're watching right now, comment down below. Give a thumbs up on the video, too. Uh, I love comments. I like when I look at this uh, episode... For the week that it's out, every day we post it somewhere else. And I jump on and there's always comments. I love it. I really do love it. Even if the comment, if you think the comment is dumb, still put it on. Ryan Fuster gives me a thumbs up emoji every single week and I love it. I love the interaction and it helps the video. So that is always cool too. But either way, here's the big thing. If you want to order any supplies, my number is 862-312-2026. And here's a code for 5% off if you order through me. It's no regrets. Huh? No regrets. That is the code for this week. If you text me, say, yo, Jersey, everything's in my cart. No regrets is the code. Cart ending in 123 and my address is 123. Right? Boom. I could do everything like that just through text. It's just that easy. 
Um, I would love nothing more than to put your order in either. Like I said, it's a virtual high five. So if you've ever got anything out of this and you want to say thank you, that's the way to do it. There's nothing better than doing that uh, for me in my world. So 862-312-2026. The code is no regrets. Call me, text me, whatever, and I would love to put that order in for you. Listen, if you're not out there doing any of those top five things, do them. Most importantly, start whatever the big project is that's coming up. Start it tomorrow. Start it tomorrow. Let me know how it goes for you, but most importantly, go out there and be epic.